guys on request this week uh, a bad sound that is actually made by a friend of mine a talented sound designer uh, called Talu Sound and he has a preset pack on Massive I think and he made this patch for me and um, let's hear what it sounds like So it's a very nice sound and the main uh, grittiness of the sound that you hear, so the main character comes from the um, this filter which is the filter tree, the decimate filter and it gives that kind of <coughs> digital sound. But first for the, <coughs> for the other stuff we have the noise module in the last slot and you can see that over here and these are just the basic settings it's a little bit filtered down on filter 2 and you can see here that it's very soft I think you won't be able to hear it unless I pull this up so this is what it's doing um, just a little bit noise to um, give some more warmth and it's going through bus 2 so that is this one right here and it goes to through the sideband um, module and sideband is sort of like a, a dual stereo frequency shifter where you set a, a fixed frequency here frequency here and um, well it kind of modulates the sound you can hear it sort of shifting and phasing So experiment with that one and then next to that we have oscillator 2 and filter 4 and oscillator 2 is controlled by an MSEG and other than that there's a filter in FX slot 1 and phasing is not uh, nothing special here and you can detune it by um, minus uh, 1.5 and set the MCG1 to uh, plus 12 that's it and the filter minus 16 so that's the oscillator filter and then we get to the regular filter um, there's just a high pass very basic and the modulation comes from MCG1 and that's just sort of doing a pitch down effect So just that and you can hear it twice because of the delay in there. You can copy these delay settings down or uh, find your own settings. Okay. So that is going uh, through bus 1, so not through the main out. And you can assign that here. You have main, bus 1, bus 2, and those are these three lanes. So I set this one to bus 1, the other one to bus 2, and the rest of the sound, which is this part, goes through the main. And then when we just use this first lane, we start with oscillator 1 and this is set to the to the pulse wave so it's uh, a, a square wave on 25 percent and oh, again a filter in the effects slot one and the band works which is uh, a band pass and band reject filter in slot two so here are two filters and we can check what that sounds like by itself
so that already sounds pretty uh, ambient also because we have a, a slow attack and a long release on the envelope and then it goes through comb filter 1 and the input is all the way up and the feedback is all the way down and then um, the tone it's set to split comb and the tone parameter gets modulated by the LFO by an amount of 66 and flavor is all the way up and you can mess with these settings as well vibrato might sound nice on tuning is minus 11.8 which is cool, giving it a lot of detuning. So yeah, mess with these settings. Then we have a normal low pass filter with a resonance at 27.5. Then we have a new oscillator. And this one is doing the main melody because it's being modulated by MCG2. And if we look at MCG2, we can see it's um, so this is one octave up and then it goes down and then here it goes up to semitones um, so that's a cool sound and in the effects slot there's just a filter and face panel uh, is nothing and it's set to the default wave And then after that, um, a bandpass filter. Also modulated by the uh, LFO2, which is a very slow LFO. And that's giving a lot of phasing effects. And you can see if I make it faster, you it will be more noticeable. If you want a little bit more consistency, you can set it to gate over here at the right. And if you want even more control, you can draw in, you can set this mode to lines, and you can draw in the cycles yourself. But for this sound, that's not uh, really necessary. Okay, moving on. Um, you go to the mix module and here LFO3 is set to the panning on the mixer um, I don't think it's doing a lot because it's set to 2.5 so we can exaggerate it It's all about the small details. Then the mix is 13.5 um, and then it goes to this filter, which is a cool one. My favorite filter, I think, oh, besides the comb, uh, in Zebra is the Decimate filter. Because this is what it does. gives a lot of grittiness Um, so that's how you c get kind of that, that crackle that is on the top of the sound. Over there. Alright, then we move to the effects where we just have um, a reverb. Um, pretty basic, I think. And with the mixer, we have the delay, we already checked that out. Then here we have another mixer that's set to 50%. And then we have the sideband, which is um, the, f the frequency shifter. 
So now when we unmute these again, we have the whole sound. Cool, and if you want to um, change this further, what you can do is, for example, modulate oscillator 2 with an let's say another LFO, LFO4 is not used yet target oscillator 2 tuning amount of 12 set it to gate user 116 click and quantize this 12 because we want octaves and semitones now we can try the same for oscillator 1 I think it's going to be pretty extreme Now you can assign some things that you like to these um, XNI um, parameters. Is that how you call it? XNI controllers, I guess. And this is sort of like a modulation pane. And here you can say um, cutoff of filter 3, and that is on the x axis. And then on the y axis, you would say, for example, uh, filter 3. resonance and then here you decide the amount that you're going to give and now um, this is on X and, X and Y4 so this one is controlling the filter 3 resonance and cutoff we can do the same for filter 1 and then filter 4 maybe and now give it the full amount by clicking twice and then you can see those white arrows outlining the the range of modulation which is showing in red and yellow and now when we drag this dot around it might get loud by the way I don't know um, but you hear the, the different <laughs> Control. Um, oh, maybe this one would be interesting. Or the oscillator one, oscillator effects filter. So then you need to go to spectra effects one value and oscillator one spectra effects two value. <laughs> Thank you.
bit extreme, um, but you get the point. So I hope you get something out of that, and um, see you next week.